Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Alejandra with a very short video today. I'm going to show you what a list is in Power Query. As a structural value, a list is a sequence of values. To tell Power Query that something is a list, I'm going to provide the equal here. I need to provide the curly brackets. I'm going to press enter, and in my case, I didn't provide anything inside of the curly brackets. That means that the list is empty, and that's what I get. I get an empty list. Let's say I want to provide a list of numbers. I want to provide from 1 to 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to separate every single item or every single value of that list by a comma. Press enter. And now I have my list of consecutive numbers from 1 to 4. If I need consecutive numbers, in, my case, in this case, I don't need to provide every single one and separate it by a comma. I can say 1 dot dot. And I can have, let's say, up to number 10. I going to go to the end, press enter, and there I have my list from 1 to 10. This is very handy. Let's say I want my list to start from 10 and to finish in 1. When I delete this, I'm going to start from 10, dot, dot, 1. I press enter, and what do I get? I get an empty list. And this is because Power Query doesn't understand that now is the opposite order. So this just doesn't make sense to Power Query. So if I want to bring a list from 10 to 1, then I have a few options. Let me show you. So I would need to provide then comma 9, comma 8, comma 7, and so on until I get it to the starting point. Would be 1 or could be 0. But I press enter and there is my list. Now, now Power Query understands what I'm doing here. And but of course this is uh, not ideal. So what I'm going to say, I'm going to start from 0, and I'm going to go up to 10, which I get my list from 0 to 10. And I want to sort this information. I'm going to use list sort, open parenthesis, and for default, list sort will sort in ascending order. So if I want to change that order, I'm going to go to the end, comma, and I need to provide a comparison criteria as any. I'm going to say descending. Uh, right here, order descending. Close parenthesis, enter. And that's how I can easily get my list uh, starting from 10 to 0. You can also provide a 0 or a 1 instead of ascending or descending. Let's say if I provide the 0, it's going to sort my list by descending order. If I provide the number one, it will sort my list in descending order very quickly and very easily. So I'm going to create another step here, fx, and I'm going to, I don't want to refer to the previous step. I'm going to say equal. I can also provide a list of letters. I want to start from A to Z, all lowercase. I'm going to click at the check mark, and now I have my list of letters. And let's say I want to end in uppercase Z. And I click at the check mark. And what do I get? I get an empty list. And that is because with the letters, the letters start with capital A. I have all the capital letters. And then ends with the lowercase Z. And I'm going to, oh, the enter doesn't work. I'm going to click at the check mark. And now I have my list from A to Z uppercase and I have some symbols here and then I get into the lowercase letters and end in set. Okay, something to, to keep in mind. So at least I can contain different items. It doesn't need to contain all letters or all numbers. It can contain several uh, different values. Let's say I want to start con with number five and then letter uh, B, capital B. Remember, text needs to be uh, provided inside of quotation marks. And let's say I want to provide even duration. Let's say here, duration. I want to say five days. Uh, 10 hours, uh, 45 minutes, 10 seconds. I can also provide a list. Let's say inside of the list, I'm going to bring from A to uh, M. And then also, I want to bring a date. A date. I can provide the year, 2024, the month, and the day. Let's say 15. And I can 
and with number 88. There I have my list. The list, as I said, can contain different items. And here I have a list inside of that list. I'm going to click there to bring the, that content. And I see that I wrote 8 M and that is because I didn't tell Power Query to bring from A to M. I provided the comma, which means bring, bring the value A and the value M. So if I change that for the two dots, then and press enter, go back to my last step. Now I have my list from A to M. The curly brackets also help to extract information from, in this case, from this list. I'm going to go back to custom one and remember that Power Query is based zero. So line one will be position zero, line two, position one, line three, position two, and line four will be position three. We are in step custom one. What the next step is doing is from this step, I'm going to bring, I'm going to extract the information that is in position three, row four. And that's what the curly brackets are doing. They are bringing that information from that line. If I say now I want to bring whatever is in row two, which would be position one, I press enter. And what do I have there? I'm bringing that value B. Here is my value B. Again, if I want to bring the values inside of my list, then I go and change that for number three and press enter. So I hope you find this information useful. If you like it, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on LinkedIn and share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.